Welcome back to Children's Studio School's Mystery Bag Studio. You should have received a bag that looks like this from Children of Mine Youth Center. Dump out the bag on a table and examine each item. See it, feel it, hear it. I don't think you need to taste or smell it, but really check everything out. Here is a picture of all of the mystery bag items. Take 10 seconds to think about what all of the things in the bag have in common. Did you figure it out? Okay, now tell me, look at all the things and tell me what do they have in common? Can you tell? They have, uh, they white. Yeah, they, yeah, they all light. Okay, they're all light. What else? And also, some of them make noise. Some of them make noise. Okay, good. That's good. All of them make noise, but you can make noise with this. How? Lights. You could bring it on the table. Sparkle, what do you think all of these things have in common? They all make a sound! Wow, you're right. That's really good. There are five senses. We can touch, see, smell, taste, and hear. Why is it important that people hear? Why is it important for you to hear? Well, um, it's important if someone wants your attention and you can't see them, they might call out your name or if someone's in trouble, so you can hear to help them. Another reason that it's good to hear is for your own enjoyment. Say if you want to listen to music, you can hear that. Hey Sparkle, tell me why is it important that we can hear? Can't hear. I can't hear you. Uh, if you don't hear, then then you can't follow instructions on what you're supposed to do and then what you're not supposed to do. If you can't hear, you do the wrong things and not the right things because you don't know which one is right because you can't Now, get ready to play Guess That Sound. Darius. Hi. Solomon. Hello. And Sparkle are gonna find things around the house that make a sound today. Ready, guys? Ready. Let's go. Let's go. I found two things that make a sound. I'm going to make a sound with the first one. What do you think it is? We'll play it for you again. Listen. I'll show you. It's a chopstick and a water bottle. Did you get it right? I found 
sound something. I'm going to make sound. You try to guess what it is. Ready? Here's the sound. I found two things that make a sound. I'm gonna make a sound with the first thing. Try to guess what it is. What do you think it is? Here, listen again. Ready for the big reveal? It was two rocks clacking together. Three rocks. Okay, I'm going to try and make a sound with the second thing I found. Okay, shout out what you think it is. I can't hear you. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. They're my birds. Did you guess right? Now I'm gonna make a sound with the second thing. You try to guess what it is. Ready? What do you think it is? Here, listen again. It was a balloon. <laughs> Darius, what's one of the ways that you really like to make a sound? Well, I love to play the guess that song game. Have you ever played that game? You hung a, hum a song and everyone else has to try to guess it. Am I doing twinkle twinkle or is this the ABCs? Hey Sparkle, what's your favorite way to make a sound? Do you want me to do the sound? Yeah. Um, and then there's a few sounds they make. Go, 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 go! Yeah, 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 yeah! And don't you also like to sing? Yes. What are your favorite songs to sing? Sometimes they just make them up. How do they go? In a minute, it's time for you to make a sound. But first, let's warm up our voices with a tongue twister. Yellow leather, yellow leather. 
yellow leather, yellow leather, yellow, yellow. Say yellow leather. Yellow, yellow leather. Yellow leather. Yellow leather. Yellow leather. <laughs> now get ready to bend your mind into shape with a call and response exercise with Children's Studio School artist teacher, Baba Joe. My name is Mr. Joe. That's really all you need to know. Sometimes I drum. Sometimes I drum. My name is Mr. Joe. And sometimes I drum. My name is Mr. Joe, and sometimes I drum. I've been involved with the Children's Studio School of Washington. Haven't you? Sometimes I drum. Sometimes I play the flute. Sometimes I play the imbira. Some people call it a kalimba. Some people call it a finger piano. As you can see, I'm playing with my fingers. Some people call it a thumb piano. It's an imbira. It's a kalimba. It's a thumb piano. It's fun. Well, today we're going to see if you know anything about its cities at all. Can you say... Atlanta? Can you say Atlanta? Atlanta? Can you say Atlanta? 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 Can you say Baltimore? Can you say Baltimore? Baltimore? Can you say Baltimore? 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 Can you say Cleveland? Cleveland? Can you say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland? Can you say Detroit, Detroit? Detroit. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit? How about DC, DC? DC, DC, DC? DC, DC, DC? Washington DC. Try that. Washington DC. Yeah. Oh, Washington DC. Yeah. Try that. Okay. We're going to put some together. Can you say Atlanta, Atlanta, Baltimore? Atlanta, Atlanta, Baltimore. Can you say Cleveland, Cleveland, Detroit? Can you say DC, 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 Detroit? Can you say Atlanta, Baltimore, Cleveland? Atlanta, Baltimore, Cleveland? Atlanta, Baltimore, Cleveland, Detroit? Can you say Cleveland, Detroit, DC? Cleveland, Detroit, DC? Cleveland, Detroit, DC? Well, next time we'll try spelling. A few of these. Can you spell DC? DC. Can you spell DC? DC. So these are just some of the places you can go visit. Atlanta, Baltimore, Cleveland, Detroit, Washington, DC. Next time I'll be asking you some other places that you like to go. Well, my name is Mr. Joe. I'm going to be saying goodbye for the moment. But wait a minute. Before I say goodbye totally, I like to go out and listen to the birds. So when I play my little sound, you can just come in afterwards with your own sound. Well, that's all for now. Mr. Joe saying bye, bye, bye. I know sometimes we get tired of being told to listen. Listen. But 
there are times when listening can actually really help. Sounds like there's a bird in the mailbox. No, uh, I don't. I don't think so. Hmm. Wow, it's really close. It might be in our roof. I guess so. You want to? I don't know. It seems like it's closer, like on the porch, right? Yeah. I'll go check. Oh wow, there is a bird. Let's be quiet. Is it stuck? Um, it doesn't look stuck. It's just this is chilling at the bottom. You wanna come take a look? Oh look, there's another bird. I wonder if they're related. <laughs> so cute it is a bird in the mailbox i don't know is it stuck let's see i don't think it can uh it can expand its wings in there so what do you really think fly. we need to get to get it out i think we need a spoon so we can scoop it up and let it go free okay let's get a spoon all right i wonder how it got in there right into my face. Use both hands. You don't even look like you have a good grip. Is it not getting on the spoon? Looks like you're stirring it up in a pot. It doesn't look like you have a firm grasp on the spoon. Yeah, you need a firmer grasp. There it goes. Have you heard the word from these birds in your hood? Check out these bird sounds and see if you can figure out what song goes with what bird. Brown finch. Can you guess what bird this is? Crow. How about this one? Cardinal. How about this one? Guess what bird makes this sound? Hey, yo, yo, can I get a slice of pizza? Can I get a slice of pizza over here? Pigeon. If you want to see more of these birds, you can check them out at the Frederick Douglass House, Anacostia Park, Kenilworth Aquatic Gardens, the Arboretum, and of course you can see pigeons anywhere in Washington, D.C. Or you can always bring them to you by offering them tasty treats like stale bread, chip crumbs, bird seed, sunflower seeds, and raisins. Thank you for joining us on the final edition of Children's Studio School's Mystery Bag Studio. Today, we talked about our sense of hearing, why it's important to listen, and we made a joyful sound with Baba Joe. As we wrap up our summer 2020 program, Children's Studio School would like to give a special shout out to our 2020 interns, Solomon Rito, who was our resident comedian, video producer, and editor. And Darius Rito, who always brought his creativity and humor to the set. Sparkle Way for her joy and her spirit and her creativity. Leah Swan for her endurance and her ability to turn every vision into a reality with ease. Karis Rivera, our guest junior director, who was great at keeping us focused. 
Baba Joe for his wild personality and creativity. Me, Brandy Rito, I had so much fun this summer. And of course, none of this could have been done without the vision and leadership of our accomplished founder, Marcia McDonald. Thank you, Children of Mind Youth Center, for presenting us with this unique opportunity. It was a great summer challenge.